It's another party crisis brewing in the PDP as Fayoshi and Makinde bicker. And Izayamu plans to pursue an eligibility case against the adult state governor. This is Plus Politics. I am Coyote Ladeindi. Welcome back, and this is Plots Politics, in case you just joined us. To the first issue of the day, a brain feud between two chieftains in the Southwest People's Democratic Party, PDP, has been confirmed as the aides of Ohio State Governor Shei Makide and former Governor of Ikete State, Ayodele Fayoshi, have been engaging in a war of words. Reacting to yesterday's proceedings of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's EFCC's case against Fayoshi, Makide's aide, Dari Adelike, stated that the former governor will be sent to jail. Joining us to give us a bigger perspective to this issue is the media aide to former governor of Ikiti State, Mr. Larry Olayinka, and later on we might be joined by another guest. But let's have Mr. Larry Olayinka. Good evening, Mr. Olayinka. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, good to have you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I am privy to that uh, campaign from your home state, that's the Kitty State, when Senator Olujimi with some other people raised this issue that uh, they know the leader of PDP in Southwest. And probably this didn't just start yesterday. So we are asking this question, is there an existing... Uh, conflict in PDP on who is actually the leader of PDP? Well, there, there is no conflict as to the leadership of PDP. And let me also say this. There is nothing in the question of PDP that states that somebody is Southwest leader, somebody is Southeast or national leader or anything. There is nothing in the law or the question of PDP stating that. The only body recognized by PDP is the, is the National Convention the, the NEC, the National Working Committee, the State Executive, Co Executive Committee, the local government, and what? So all this issue of somebody being the only governor in the Southwest and by, by virtue of that is the leader of the party in the Southwest, it's just, a, it's just by convention. It's not, it's not stated anywhere in the law in the question of PDP. So there is no contention, there is no, there, there is no, there, there is no controversy. But what, what could have actually led to that comment credited to the, uh, the media aid to governor of Oyo State? Uh, who would have wondered that that was unbecoming? You can see, you will see from my, from, my, from my response, from my reaction to it yesterday too, I was shocked too. And I did say that that was not the first time uh, that fellow was going to make that kind of, that kind of comment. Or the, the comment that he has made like that are on records. And I also believe that if that comment is, if those comments do not enjoy the support of the governor of Ohio State, that is Engineer Sheimakide, he will have called him to order. He has been doing that for like three, four weeks now. And that's why I raise is that the governor should have called that his aid to order. Besides, the governor has a, a, a spokesperson by name, Taiwa Adisa. That Adeleke is just chairman of the Ohio State Transport Corporation. It's not the spokesperson of the governor. So I, I, I also don't know. I'm also at loss as to why he has chosen to be the one speaking for the governor, abusing former governor of Fauci at every opportunity. And when I saw what he, unfortunately for him, the, mo the, where, the, where, where, the moment he saw that people were going to react to it angrily on the, on the platform, WhatsApp platform that he sent those the stuff to, he, 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 he quickly deleted, he, he deleted it. But some people are, unfortunately, for some people have already screenshot it. You know, technology allows such things to happen. And uh, I, I don't know why it will, it will take uh, maybe political. It is normal for people to have political difference. I am aware that the governor of your state, Ayesha is supporting uh, Senator Lujimi faction, Senator Lujimi group in the state. 
If that is is, is entitled to that, it can support anybody, whoever he chooses to support, that is his business. Is and we have told him that you, you can support whoever that you want to support the iniquity. We are with Tayo Fayoshi, and our Fayoshi is the person that we recognize as the person in charge of the party in this state. So he support he's supporting Olujimi, no problem about that. In Ogun State, before 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 Senator Buru Jikasamu died, may God may, may, may God rest his soul. Uh, the governor back in there was supporting Buru Jikasamu in Ogun State, and all those. So we don't we don't have problem with that. But for that fellow to have gone to that level is what some of us have also. And up to now, let me also put this on record: the governor for your state is yet to call him to order. Hmm. And uh, you know, in politics, that speaks volume. But let's also come back to Ekiti State, and I'm happy you're saying it the way we have also seen it. And that's a very disturbing trend. I recall that this issue of uh, who is the supreme leader of Southwest emanated from Senator Olu Jimmy. And uh, we're wondering what exactly and why is the former governor, you know, visiting the national, giving us a posture that uh, is still the leader. And I will remind you, you remember very well, he, when he was a sitting not, governor. Let me, don't remind me, and I know where uh -huh. you're going to, I know what you're talking Help about. Help me. You see, Ayo Shea is not contesting leadership with anybody. He's not saying whether Cheyma, Cheyma Kinde today is the only PDP governor in the Southwest. And by virtue of that, we all defer to him. There's no problem with that. There's okay, no we all deferred, that. including yeah. you. Is that what you're saying? We all defer to him. That is it. That is it. And I'm putting it on record. We all defer to him. But because he's the only governor of PDP in the South West, does not also make him to be in control of PDP in my hometown, Okemesi. I'm from Okemesi, Ekiti, in Ekiti State. I have three words of PDP in Okemesi. Former governor of Fauci did, did not even determine the, the executive, the ESCO member of those three wards. Those of us in Okemesi, the leaders, because in, 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 in this in this arrangement, there are there are leaders, there will be sub leaders, there will be leaders at the at the ward level, at the unit level, at the local government level, at the state level, and then at the zone level and at the national level. Some of us are leaders of PDP at our own level. Ayofao Shea is the leader of PDP in the state and, and by extension is one of the leaders of the party in Nigeria. There's no two ways about that. So that uh, Governor Shea Makinde is, is the only governor, we, if we defer to him by virtue of his position, he can, we can say, okay, he's the one to take leadership of the party in the Southwest. But there are other leaders of the party who are in control of their territories. For instance, you won't expect Shea Makinde to be the one to determine what happens to PDP in Ogo State? He's not the one that has been spending money there. Adebutu, Adebutu, Adebutu is the person that has been spending money for PDP in Ogo State for, for years, for like three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. So it won't be because it's now the governor now go and control PDP in Ogo State. Or you want uh, you want Governor Shema Kinde to now be the one to come and control PDP in Ogo State, where, where we have a where we have a two-time governor, Ayo Fauci. We have Shegu Oni was also governor in the state. So where, where is it coming from? But Mr. Larry Olainka, can you also remember how uh, Governor, okay, then he was a legitimate uh, Southwest leader and if not uh, the leader of governors in PDP. But in his own state, why is it so difficult for the two camps to, you know, come together as we speak? We are wondering, this was somebody is, who worked it together will, it with... Will be, it will be difficult for... When you have children of the same parent fighting, it will be difficult for that for that issue to be resolved when you have people from outside hmm. being uh, instigating the, the crisis. When you have the likes of Governor Shea Makinde backing somebody like Olujimi against Fayoshi, and I've asked questions, Governor Shea Makinde will also cease to be governor one day. Hmm. It will cease to be governor one day. And I, I'm also hoping that one of the people that are working with him as either special assistant or SSP, special advisor or commissioner, we also we also we also progress to be senator or as of red member when when Shema Kinde will stop being governor for your state. And I want to also see that person rising up to against Shema Kinde and tell him that he is his leader. It's like me now. If in 2023 I now become a senator from a state. 
Will I now stand before your father and say I'm his leader? Does that make sense to me or anyone? It doesn't. Okay. And that uh, is what we are saying. Olu Jimmy started his career, political career under your father, special assistant. Special assistant, not even a commissioner. And, and by the grace of God, she, 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 she was elevated from there to House of Rep, from there to Deputy Governor, from there to Senator, and all that, and all that. So because your father is no longer a governor now, Olujimi would, uh, will, now, will now be the one to bow, to, to now prostrate for Fayoshe to, to Olujimi to get whatever I want. It doesn't work out like that. Go to other states. Who is the leader of APC in, 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 in Lagos State today? Is it not, uh, is it not Senator Bola Tinubu? Is Senator Bola Tinubu a governor? Is he a governor today? Who is the leader, who is the leader of PDP in Niger State? Who is the leader of PDP in, in, in Kassina State? Is so it... go, and go, go, go to all those places. And those and that's that's the issue hope, some of us have raised with I, Governor Shay Makinde. We I, some of us have told him he should he should call Olujimi to order rather than supporting her. Okay, uh, Mr. Larry, just to quickly uh, inform our viewers that this is not a one-sided conversation. We have actually reached out to Mr. Jackson Adebayo, who belongs to Senator Olujimi's camp, but we are yet to get a response from him. But staying with you, Mr. Larry, uh, uh, can we also um, look at what you just mentioned now, that um, who is the leader of APC and uh, that's a former governor? Uh, someone would say that uh, that seems to be the kind of courage that uh, Ayodele Fayoshe is also putting up. Is it wrong for him to also be the leader of the Southwest? You can remember the last statement he made concerning Lagos Please, that like, they should retire, no, but they no, judge. Like I said, like I've said, eh? leadership of any organization is is not is not by is not by election. It's not even by constitution. People will people will just decide to say, "Oh, we are bringing we are bringing ourselves under your control," depending on who you are depending on your attitude to people. And that is how it, that is how it has always been. No, no, no. What I wanted to say... Is this. Sorry, sorry for cutting in. Let me cut in, sorry. She said... She, she, hmm? I just want to be on the I same page. Too. I just want to be on the same page with you because if you say that the crisis in Ekiti, if you believe there is crisis, is being fueled from outside. And some will say that the kind of statement credited to your principal concerning Lagos PDP is also an admittance to what you believe is wrong. Saying that if PDP wants to win election, they should retire, but they judge. You see, the statement credit made by Ayo I let, let me put it this way. If you have a football team and you have a coach that have been that have been managing that football team for 20 years without success, will you will you retain that coach? Will you want that coach to continue? Besides, Chief Body Judge is getting old. He's getting old. We are not, nobody is disrespecting him. He's our leader. We respect him so much. But he can't be dragging position with people like us. Some of us were in primary school, secondary school when he was when he was governor of Odon, those states. People like us were the ones that were made to line on the street, on the road for him when, when he was coming to visit our schools. People like us were the ones that were made to sing, to praise him when he was coming as governor then. That was like 36, 37 years ago. So you don't, you don't expect that person to still be dragging position with us. We expect him to now retire, be in his house. When we have problems, we go to him, we seek Baba, we have come, oh, uh, advise us, pray for us. That is, that is the position that people like us believe that he should take. Besides, there should be a new order. You know, you can you can also compare Lagos with Ekiti. In Ekiti, out of out of out of like twenty one years of 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 democracy of this dispensation in Ekiti State, PDP has governed that state for eleven years, eleven and a half years, so to say, eleven and a half years. As PDP govern Lagos State, so it means that those who manage PDP in Ekiti State have done well, better, far better than those who have managed PDP in, the, in the Lagos State. And that is what the man is saying. But because the question, if you have managed this party for over 20 years without success, you should give way for new people to take charge. Maybe I, I maybe maybe, maybe there's something you know simple. that I don't know. I stand to listen to you. Maybe there's something you know that I don't know. As we speak, the candidate for the Lagos East Senatorial District is no longer, if there was any quarrel, because I can tell you that there had been some issues in the past, 
he has accepted him as his leader. And there seems to be no more than one faction in PDP Lagos again. Do, do, Don't you think they do, should build do, on do, that? The, 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 the event where Ayofaoshe made that statement, did you, did you watch the video? Maybe you should tell if me If you more. watch the video, you will see the reaction of the people there. You see how people reacted when he made that statement. You see joy. You see excitement on the face of the people there. People who were seated before stood up. They were happy. It was as if this is what we have been waiting to hear. And the man did not also direct his statement to our to body judge, chief body judge alone. Chief Chief Ogu Kelu was in that meeting. Chief Ogu Kelu is also a major stakeholder of PDP in this in Lagos. He was in the meeting, and he agreed with what Ayofaoshe said. He agreed, hundred percent. He was there. So the, the, the issue here is not it's not also about it's not also about Chief Bode George. It's about putting the party and look at by next year, by, by next month, by next by November next month, I will be 60 years. And he has said it clearly that if PDP returns to power in, in, at, the, at the federal level, you won't come to him and say he should come and be minister. He won't be minister. He said it clearly. He said he's not going to contest for Senate to be senator to be anything. That is how to be a leader. That is how to that, that is how to that is how to act elderly. He okay. also look at himself. Why okay. can I why will I now come and be senator when, Larry, when my children let, people, I, people, I want you to maximize the are, are senators? Yeah, I want you to maximize the two or three minutes left. Let me quickly take you on two questions. I think the problem here is there is there seems to be no leader in PDP Southwest. You recall that um uh, uh, one of the, I mean, the leader then had to go for governorship seat, and probably that also led to this issue of who is the leader in Southwest. Who would you recognize if you do not you believe? See, but they just should the be leader, the leader. The leader of the party. You see, we have only one governor in the Southwest. Okay. And that person is Engineer Shei Makinde. Okay. By virtue of his position, he is the leader of the party in the Southwest. Nobody. Good. I've said it. I've said it before, and I'm saying it again. Nobody is contesting that with him. But as a leader, there are also right. unit leaders. Let, let me put it that way. That is people who are also leaders in their own states. If you are going to be overall leader, you listen to the leaders of the other states. And let me also tell you this, and I, I, want, to, I want to be categorical about it. I, I, also, I also do not subscribe to this idea of somebody seeing himself as more committed or as more, more interested in the progress of PDP than people like us. I've been in this party for like for, for like 15 years. I did not leave the, the moment I joined PDP 2026, the 2006, 2006 rather. I have not, I, I did I have not left this party. When the general share going in that I well, we were going to leave PDP, I did not leave with him. So if people who have contested election under two, three, four political parties are now fortunate to be governor. And they now begin to look at us as they are now the one who have interest of PDP more than us. They don't. They do not. And I'm, I want to. I want to be categorical about this. They are not. We are also a stakeholder in PDP in Nigeria, and that is it. I'm a stakeholder of PDP in a kitty state, and I've said it before. In my local government, I your fire share did not determine the chairman of PDP chairman in my local government. So why should Governor Shema can they be the one to determine chairman of PDP in a kitty? Why should it be the one to determine who is the chairman of PDP in my local government in the West, in the state? Thank you so much. He should, uh, should limit himself to PDP in your state. When we have issues, when we have meetings, we come to him, we meet, and we look at issues. But not that he will now, be, he will now sit back in, the, in your state and now, and, now, and now queue behind one person. Because in Nekiti, he is clearly behind Olujimi in Nekiti. That is not how to be a leader. And let me also say, it, that's not how to be a leader. If he wants to be the leader of PDP in the Southwest, he should be neutral. He should not be the one backing okay. Olujimi in Ekiti. He should not be the one backing some other people in Oshu against the people there. He should not be the one backing some other people in Ogu. He should not be the one backing okay. some other people in Lagos. Thank he you, Larry Olaika. I think your points are that very, very clear. Details. Thank you so much, uh, Larry Olaika, a media aide to the former weekend. governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi. Thank you for your insight. Thank you for your perspective. And to also place it on record, um, Jackson promised to be with us on this segment, but well, it's unfortunately that he's not been able to pick our call. 
Let's hope that time will permit him to still have his own response, but not today again. And uh, thank you once again, Larry Olainka. Have a splendid day. You're welcome. And to our viewers, we'll take a break now. And when we return, another candidate. Oh, sorry. We are looking at another issue that has to do with Edo State. Please don't go anywhere.